window. And then we'll go to uh, saying, hello, Miss Mary, how are you? Hello, Miss Mary, how are you? On this uh, fifth day of September, 2020. Yeah. You know yeah, where you're at? It's, it's creeping up on your anniversary of the day you grace the world with your yeah. presence. Yeah, but do you know where you are? At this time in space. Uh, uh, uh. At home. <sighs> Welcome to the dark table. <laughs> she always Pacific, does. Pacific, and yeah. I'm not talking about the ocean. She always does that to me. Hey, Grim, what do you think? Huh? We got on live again without having to call freaking 911. <laughs> like a couple Wait, of mask wearers. Yeah, we're... Ambulance. We're like mask wearers, have to call the police because somebody won't wear their mask. Bad, bad, bad. They're not wearing their face diaper. Yeah. And oh. they're, ver- they're spewing all kinds of verbal poo-poo. Oh, so let's do the rituals here at the beginning of the show. The because, rituals. well. And by the way, hi, everybody. We're at the dork table. I had to do this now because, you know, if I would have done it before, then I would have been complying with Flash. And we all know I don't comply well. But. I can do it now. Boobs. I mean, but. (laughs) So, thank you, Grimner, for giving us this little place to come and play on a Saturday and cause mayhem and shit. Yes. And for your chattering extravaganza, you got bots and bodies. Bots and bodies, Mary. They're right there. There's a whole fucking list right there. Right. On, the, bodies. on the you screen, mean like barman, right up top. Yeah, yeah, that it's fucking barman. barman. He's the, most mm. spot in the whole wide world. Get, and he'll get you anything. Any, yeah, he anything. will. Anything. Drinks even. Anything. Now they're cybernetic, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, we also Hello. got Beetle. Beetle. Hey, Beetle. How you doing, hon? Look, you there. Cowboy Jack is here. The one that's always hey, hearing CG. pleasant voices. Please in, don't ever get your hearing checked. On the West Coast, out there, where the tall Way trees there grow. In, in the high country. Where the tall trees grow. No, oh, I thought maybe it's just where people got high. Yeah, yeah that too, but those trees are huge. Yes, they are. Yep. They are. They're, they're bigger than Hansel's ego. Imagine oh, that. Wait a minute. What? You know, I saw something the other day, and I thought, yeah, that is very appropriate. Now I'm looking for the right person to say it to. <laughs> you know, if I really wanted to commit suicide, I'd climb up your ego and jump. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> In any case. I, I really Grimner, work hard. CRLF God, don't you know. Hey, Grim. is also here. Grim news. As well as Moose Oil. And Moose Girl. His cohort. As partner in, in radio. Yeah. And such. Yeah. On Freaker's Ball, where the freaks come out to play. <laughs> I also see the lovely Miss Kate down in the great state of Florida. Ooh, the Q. The Q. The Q, yeah. People like, say Q ain't real. She's yeah. right here. And she's in the RLM, and she's yeah. badass. Yeah, but see, badass. in Star Trek, Q was an entity, not really a man. Know what I mean? Because he wasn't human. Q, Q was also a collective. See? But they had to show you something. So what did they show you? A guy. Nah, they could have put a half-naked girl there, and she could have been the cue. But no, <laughs> yeah, no well, imagination. And like a freaking leotard thing. It's like, dude, seriously, uh, not right. not attractive. No, nah, do that. What could you do? Yeah. Hollywood. Holly, the Jews yeah, are well, punishing. Well, the Jews are punishing you with bad television. <laughs> Damn, makes my eyes bleed. Uh, oh well. Anti is also Anti. here, as well as the as, a, as both a the asmo. <laughs> yeah. We also got a chalcedony. Chal- oh, there we got a Chloe as well. We I, I feel like what's his name? The, the little pig in the Geico commercial. Where's my wow? Chloe what's pig? his name? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm uh, too old to for this. Show and I'll just blurt yeah. it out. Don't question me like a police man. You police man. Popo. 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 I also see Diane Van Meter. Meter. How you doing, girlfriend? Flasher's here. Hello, me. Got a, got a flimpy work. Frumpy apparently Frumpy is not on speaking terms for Vanna. Frumpy. Oh, again. Vanna would give you a vowel. <laughs> <You really would. laughs> 
I also... <laughs> but only charge you a leg. Don't worry about it. That's, that's yep. right. You'll, you can keep yeah. your arms because, you know, you need to be pivot man. But other than that, I'm here <laughs> <laughs> as well as JJ's. No, 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 JJ's. And looky there, we also got a Meister bra. The guy out there in the high chaparral desert kind of area where they have all kinds of prickly hey, Woody. things. Yeah, on. and road runners and pigs. Yeah, that too. Well, boars. That too. More, I guess when they're wild, they're more thought of as boars, right? We got a, We need a ruling on this one. Yeah, well, you know, there's not a lot of boars in politics, too, but... Ah, <laughs> so funny. Prince, Prince is here. California. The one in Prince. We in also got a Rob Lloyd. Hey, Rob. Rob the bubbler. the bubbler. And I just missed it. Mm-hmm. I got stoned and I missed it. That's I fired up say. for you right here, right now. Like Van Thank Halen you. We said. got a trusty no one in here as well. He was looking at an electric car earlier, and I just think, them electric cars, you know, that's the ultimate in virtue signaling. Now, I know my daughter has a Prius, and actually it really does run pretty good. It, it runs on gasoline and and electric. And, you know, it is a pretty decent little car for what she uses it for, and now the granddaughter is driving it. <laughs> Dad. But um, in any case, you know those, those totally electric cars? Honey, yeah. Virtue signal all you want. The electricity is still generated with predominantly fossil fuels. Ooh, shh. You're going to ruin the surprise <laughs> ending. Right I there. keep telling you to stop telling them all that. They're going to. They're not going to be surprised when shit crashes. If you keep talking like that, then. Where were I you? Okay. No, I'm bursting yeah. people's bubbles. Weather door. Yeah, but. Weather door. No, weather. Hey, hey, Doris. Vanna White. It's Vanna White is next. The oh, Vanna White, Vanna White. of Lebanon <laughs> Turner. That person, she's next. And okay, then we got Doris. the weather dork who's like blowing up her skirt and going, Hey, Vanna wait. Wh- how do you know if weather dork's a her? Maybe, maybe weather dork is ambiguous. Maybe, maybe weather dork goes it's, both ways. Maybe weather dork is a concept. Not a reality. You know what I mean? Huh, huh, huh. Mm, not yep, all ideas are real. Not, yeah, but all the things that are real are ideas. <laughs> mm, That's well, the way they started. Yeah. I have spoken. Do not question me. <laughs> Damn it. We've got a phantom. Right here on the door phantom table. The phantom the is in the... Hello, phantom. Hi, Phantom. We got a CC66 is here as well. Hello, honey. The lovely Psycholo, who's Grimmy's other cohort in crime, and pointing out all of those connections in the world. And everything really is connected. It's like a great big web. Pull one string, and another one goes. (laughs) Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, yours goes. Mine does. Mine makes a completely different sound. Thank you. (laughs) <laughs> I also see Chloe is here, as well as I oh. saw Cyborgian Noodle. Oh. Chloe would be touched by the Cyborgian noodliness of it all. Bots and bodies, baby. Bots and bodies. The Dork Cakes is hey, here. Hey, mental, Hi, you old bastard. How the fuck you? are you? Okay. We got an and sieve oh, as well, and a frumpy. Another one. He's, He's double dumping. Yeah. Feeling frumpy. And looky there, I'm at WJ2002, followed by Mr. Snick Snack Patty Wagon. Give that dog a phone. Oh, shit. You know what I just realized? No. My sprinkler's still going. I probably had to go. You Since better go. Shut it off. Turn it off. You do yeah. that. Or I'll finish the... I also the see a Mr. Pompo Pompo no, Pompo we'll, we'll as it. well as a Smart Ass and the holiest Roger <clears throat> ever. Yeah. Goody. Okay, now I'm going to let you take it away. Oh, last, got, you have to go do that thing all over the yard. So Mary's going to go shut off the water while I stall for her inevitable return. Today's episode of the Dork Table is called Horrible People Need Horrible Laws. And if that offends you, then that's probably who I'm talking about. <laughs> Because we're in this paradox shit where the best thing for us 
and it's actually to, to be self-responsible and not depend on the police every freaking waking moment of the day. But some people can't, well, they can't seem to play well with others. They have no clutch, you know, so they think that they can do just whatever the fuck they please and nothing's going to happen. I'm Thank you, because I was, me? yeah, I was stalling with some nonsense, but I was calling today's podcast, Horrible People Need Horrible Laws. Yes, they do. Thanks for that. That's right, because if they don't have horrible laws, then what are they good for? Well, like well, before the show, I was telling you what I thought about why Australia is so suddenly resembling China. Because it's a penal colony. Well, beside that. I mean, as far as with this new, all these new <coughs> restrictions from the <coughs> pandemic, what I didn't know was they've got a $100 billion trade deficit with China. So guess what China's going to expect the, the people that owe them all that money to do or be invaded and taken over. So <laughs> they're they're all going to change their names to Ben Dover. They're they're might as I well. Hey, what the from fuck? Dover. Have you read any of the shit going on in Australia or seen any of it on the internet? Yes, I have. The yes, woman? Have. Tell us, what did you think about that poor girl? Huh? The pregnant yeah. mom? Yeah. Yeah. It was like, really? And then the guy that was standing up on his balcony and saying, just tell me what you want. Just tell me what you want. And then they brought in the guy with the thing, that abut the door buster thingy. And he's going, what the fuck? What the? You, you're ruining my stuff. And then here they come in, like, just whoo, and just swarm on him. And it's like, ah. I thought, oh, dear God. Talk about Gestapo. Yeah, in, in the okay. name, but they've got, okay, in the name of, you're, you could be ill, so we're going to spray you with pepper spray when you won't wear a mask in a public train. I'm, what the, when the punishment is worse than the, the, the crime, society should realize something's wrong at that point, but they're not. They're, they're, they're just grabbing onto this shit, making it better. More and more and more and more, all the time. Hmm. See it here. I'm I'm talking about where I live from my perspective, you know, because mm -hmm. I've been seeing the freaking mask people. Cirque's one of them. You know? They want to keep their job. Wow. What do you do? How? Uh, I feel bad for and because a lot of these people know they're being screwed over. They're not complying oh, yeah. because oh, this is a great fucking idea. It's mostly kids that don't know any fucking better and adults that want to work. Yeah, that need their paychecks. Yeah. And I've seen one since they made it mandatory like a week ago. I saw one on the ground that somebody – I could have been dropped. I would – because it was in, in, in a weird place. You know, it didn't seem to belong where it was. So it could have been somebody thought they put it in their pocket and dropped it. But I saw one on the ground in two weeks now. Well, I have to admit, I have worn one a couple of times, but it is in the process of taking care of my mom and getting her to places where she needs to be, yeah. and you're required to wear one in order to, and I'm not going to let her walk in with her walker without some kind of assistance, and so therefore, I have to wear a freaking mask, but I make sure I piss them all off, yeah. because it's one that says Trump. 2020 on it, just to piss them off. Cause wow, how democratic town. How sad that. Uh, well, well, I know it. It is sad, but yet it's funnier than hell. Cause well, not really. How many people come up to me and say, "You know, you don't have to wear that." Really? Uh, Why? Well, uh, because, because, and if they can't give me a reason, then it's like, "Oh, you want one? Hmm? I have connections. I can get you one." You want one? <laughs> <laughs> Got connections. Wow, things have changed. Now people are wearing masks to banks. Yes. You know, and, and they're uh, not smoking cigarettes in a restaurant. So life is weird where I'm from. Yes, it is. Okay? But, you know, the I, things... I, keep, I keep falling back on we're living in a reciprocal world, and I am a reciprocal girl. I'm well, thinking the Madonna song. 
what did they say about all that facial recognition crap, right? And now they got six months of the fucking planets wearing masks. What were we getting fucked around with behind the facial recognition laws crap? They must have been doing oh. something else. And yet, and yet, you know, because every, every piece of technology has a dark side and a light side, and then it's got a lot of gray area in between. And facial recognition, you know, when you're talking about people recognizing you to, to haul your ass off to jail because you said something they didn't like on Facebook, like that poor pregnant mom down in Australia, um, or, you know, now you've got, they use facial recognition for, you know, like Amber Alerts and stuff like that as well. Well, if everybody's wearing a but fucking if mask. children are mandated to wear a mask, they yes, cannot use that facial recognition software, and so it makes it easier for people to do a snatch and grab with kids. Ah, or that facial, or it was a fucking fraud in the first place, it never worked. Now they'll, they'll erase it from history so people won't file any more lawsuits against them. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I always... don't trust nothing. Nothing. But there... I trust everything to behave exactly. Yeah, yeah, that, I, I understand that about you. But, you know, the big crime I'm seeing is the mask wearing. And the people that are doing it, you can see, you know, they're usually, they're, they fall within parameters of age and so such. You know, the wilder of us are not going to do that, period, no matter what job or no job. So guess what? Cirque is not a wild character. I know. Well and yet she is. Well, to a degree. In her own way. Yeah. But yeah. but when it comes to society, no no no. Only in her private life I would say. Personal certain friends. But yeah, she's not a big renegade anymore. But I am well, you know, and I need two renegades in one household. So I got to put a pirate side patch on and go out in public and, you know, hide my mug <laughs> if I want, <laughs> if it comes to that. Well, I told her I'd compromise. You still have a beard, don't you? Yeah, but still, I, I don't want to wear a fucking mask. I'll be right one second. No, no. See... And what I was trying to tell him, and maybe I will tell him when he gets back, because he, he'll be back and just, ooh, I hear him. In any case, what you need to do is you need to get you like a headband or something like that, and then pull your beard up <laughs> under your nose, and then put your headband, your headband on to hold it there, <laughs> and tell them, I've grown my own, thank you very much. Well, I don't really think it's going to come to that here. <clears throat> Anna, Anna, well, Anna. I know somebody that did that, and they couldn't. You know, whomever was bitching at him, his mouth was covered. Right. And the beard came up and it's out around his nose. And so, therefore... Well, even Germany's having problems with keeping this hoax alive. Too many people are going, no, 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 no. Do the fucking math, you know, in the first place. So, what the truth of the whole thing to me is, it's all because the dollar collapsed. And instead of letting people know, hey, your paper's not any good, they're doing all this drama instead to, to distract you, keep you locked in. Can you imagine yeah, if people knew and they could leave their house whenever they fucking wanted to? They'd be doing crazy shit, like organizing to remove the government. No. Oh, yeah, no, they would. I that's don't, why. I don't see people organizing. Of course, that's government. why they these. They are just entirely too. too too conformed into it. They're too used to having said government. And therefore, most people will go... Mm, I saw a video of the opposition something. today, Mary, with my own four eyes. No, there's, there's shit happening. The patriots oh, are huge, and a lot of them got bikes. So they're, you know, they ride and they get their self you know, pissed off because they're riding bikes instead of being in a nice, comfortable car. <laughs> But that's another story. That's a whole other show. Mm. Riding bikes is not done for comfort. Okay? In the first place. But. Bikes as in bicycles or bikes as in? Bikes. Motorcycles. Yeah. By, oh, motorcycles? I, yeah. Oh, well, I know people that ride them for comfort. <laughs> not for for how long? <laughs> okay. Anyway. 
So like we were talking before the show, right? Mm-hmm. You know what? I keep hearing, and, and I, to this day, from human life forms outside of me, I hear things about cancer. But uh-huh. I did a little bit of looking, and did you know that cancer cannot survive in an alkaline environment? There you go. True. Well, mm-hmm. that, so they make all this big hoopla out of all this shit, and they give these poor people who got sick, instead of telling them the truth, they give them these medieval tortures. Oh, yeah. Well, it well pisses. because that way you can, you can inflict pain, you can inflict trauma, not only on the individual, but also on the family, and make a profit. Off of every step, because I bet you dollars to doctors, they also have something to do with, you know, the the whole um, crematorium kind of shit, <laughs> and, and coffins, and, you know, that mm. whole, yeah. that whole end, end deal. Yeah. And, you know, then, then making you pay for a piece of dirt to bury your, your loved one in, six feet under, mind you. Yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah. They're they're making money right and left off of the whole whole process. Yeah. So. Hmm. Yeah, that's the poison well, for profit system, well, by the way. Okay, there's always that that word profit and money and all this talk, but well, I don't know. It's it seems so limited to me. Yeah, but profit isn't just money. Profit is also, you know, gaining control, Ooh, having power over. Yeah. You know, so profit profit is not just financial gain. Ooh, power over. Oh, I could go outside and lift up my pickup truck. I am so strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they go. <sighs> People are. Well, my pickup truck is made out of cardboard because I bought one of those ecologically friendly friendly vehicles. Yeah, well, yeah, it's just one of the many bullshit stories that we've endured in our life that we will endure till life is gone. <laughs> Cuz there's so many people out there lying. Lying because they don't know they're lying. Yeah. It's pitiful. And so Oy. in their reality, yeah. it is true. And that's yeah. the really that's the really weird part paradoxical part of this whole this whole reality, because yeah. you know, you've got you've got all of these you know polar opposites going on, and then lovely varying shades in between the polar opposites, because you can't have polar opposites unless you have something in between them. Well, you, you know, know what? And, and you have these choices that you got to make. Yeah, but this is the worst revolution ever. I've never I've never seen a revolution that was so badly done in my in the, my history. That I've read or seen. This is the weirdest one. Well, let's see. Revolutions. Hmm. They could, you know, you could either be spinning. That's it. They're just, that's all this is. They're just spinning, but they're splitting sides. Yeah. Oh. So it's like the wheels on the bus go round and until round. all right until people start killing each other, and then it becomes fucking war. And I, in my opinion, and I'm looking onto this thing. And it's like so, it's given to you in such small chunks at a time that mm-hmm. by the time it fucking slaps you, you didn't really notice. It went, hey, wait a minute, where'd that come from? They've been building it right in front of your face the whole time. You just don't seem to notice. And I don't mean you, you. I mean the average, I know, the average yeah. you. I think you would recognize what I, and probably agree with my bizarre side of this. Well, the general population sees what it is comfortable seeing. Well, how do you explain all these riots and violence? I I don't Uh, understand. This is, like, three and a half months of nightly somewhere. mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if it's... Mostly peaceful protests. And you know how they can get away with saying mostly peaceful (laughs) protests? Because they have people protesting throughout the daylight hours. And so... Throughout the daylight hours, that's still longer than the nighttime hours. So it's mostly peaceful. It's mostly peaceful. How ignorant can you be to not smell a fucking rat? You know, something's not right here. 
The same lies years after, you know, year after year as it as it goes so far. But I th- this is probably a revolution right right before us. We're watching it fucking happen and just cuz they're not calling it that that doesn't mean that's not what's happening. Well, it's it's no different than we we are in a financial system collapse. True, but they're but, not calling it that. Yeah, the people are calling it BLM and what's the other one? Uh, Antifa. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mary. I, <laughs> I, right over. See, three pipe loads, and I can't remember Antifa. We are the most specific <sighs> anti-fascist group wait, ever. Now, those two, wait. So you must allow us to tear shit but, up, or we will beat you right. within an inch of your life. Are they against each other, or are they together? Antifa and BLM. I think in the upper echelons, they are most definitely um, your enemy is my enemy right now, but not necessarily close buds. Oh, I think, I think they have like a, the military. Yeah, yeah. the Navy yeah, don't like they, the Marines, and the Marines don't like the Navy, and uh, yeah, stupid. They have a common enemy, so they're working together right now. Um, and it's a, those people that are out there going, but no, that's not what they're doing, but no, they're, they're really trying to get you to see the plight of the black man in America right now. Oh, fuck you you and the plight of the black man. They're they're trying to get you to, to see the inequality and the injustice of the world and the whole while they're they're doing this whole you must see the inequality and you must see the injustice in the world and if you don't see it we're going to be unjust with you and we are going to treat you unfairly un- and unequally because we're going to do things to you and you better not do them back to us or we're going to do something even worse because cool. inequality wow boy I'm sure I mean they what? They really are. They're you know they're they're like these little robots oh, that yeah. wander around and go. <laughs> but Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, and you're racist when you say All Lives Matter. Really, I'm I'm not putting any kind of color uh, definers on that. You know, I'm I'm not stipulating just one color matters. Ooh. I'm saying they all Ooh. do. That's Ooh. why Crayola gives you a box of 64 colors wow. so that you can have all of the colors included. Well, you heard not it here first. Not just black, not just white, 64 colors. And, you know, I tell you, when I was buying crayons for my grandkids years ago, they even have packs with 128 colors. Now I want to know who came up with some of the names of those colors because I'm calling bullshit on some of them. Oh. But there's actually, there, to go along with the 78 different genders that they're claiming there are now, we yeah. also have 128 colors in the Crayola box. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so there you go. Yeah. Well, where am I going? Grimmy says NLM, No Lives Matter. Yeah. I, I will say No Lives Matter more than anyone else. Uh, see, nah, you always got to make it girly. I know Stop I that! Do. You're so political, for fuck's sake. Can't you be like a, like a ogre and just make it simple for everybody? No Fair. lives matter. Fuck off. And well, people don't argue with you when you just tell them that in the first place. It's like magic. And there's well, many. Kind of like my brother's T-shirt. I used to be a people person. See, and people ruined it. There's many ways <laughs> to let your fellows know that you are not impressed with them at all. If the if you are in that kind of situation, well, what? I just I just think all this shit is believe like me or else BLM. There you go. There's your bowel movement. They have to throw that L. Hey, hmm. big large movement. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. There you go. It's a bowel movement, all right. And it has nothing to do with the color, just the stench that emanates from it. Great. <laughs> Boy, I needed to yeah. think about that. I know you did. What happened to you? Did, did you 
Are you in a bad mood? No, I am well, not in a bad mood. Well, you I'm, know I'm a little flustered because I couldn't post a blog on the freaking realliberty.org because it kept telling me there was an error, and yeah. so fine, I did snip it well, instead, and I'll rewrite it. I found an answer to all your problems, everything that ails you. Yep. Really? It cures color blindness, mumps. <laughs> What you know, it, yeah. last time I heard a line like that, it what? was from my ex-husband. <laughs> yeah. And he said it's in a pleasant-tasting liquid formula, easy to apply applicator. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't we, we could beg for some freedom. But here's the question that I, I ask people that live under this illusion of this word freedom, or whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. What is it? Freedom is not something that you acquire. What? But Mary, I want to be able to show it. I want to show you what it is because we we're all fighting to have it. This is what I'm told all the time. Now me, I ain't fighting to fucking have anything. I just have things. Whatever having something is. <laughs> okay, let's play that game then. Whose name is on paperwork? Who is, uh, what paperwork are we talking that about? That doesn't matter. Trust that. Your Trust well, your yeah, but that, Amir, I got to tell you, when it comes to international travel, the, mm -hmm. the, the American passport pulls some weight hmm. compared to passports of, you know, other lesser than financially, <clears throat> you know, countries. Uh-huh. Other countries that don't carry as much debt and say that. Yeah, and it's all collapsed already. Oh fuck, this thing is going to get fun. And then, uh, what did I tell you? August was going to be the the beginning of the kickoff. I thought so. And then a couple of days. How long has it been since that kid got uh, three cut, shot three, killed two? Has that been about a week? A week. I think it's been a week. Something like that. Okay, well, there's not a lot. I told you, there's not a lot that's not censored on um, YouTube that's coming through, and I don't trust the media. So I depend on RLM for anything that's true. Well, and a lot of stuff that I have seen, you know, people getting together all of the different videos that are getting posted all over God's green earth about this shit. Mm -hmm. And mm, I'm I'm having a hard time thinking that that he was just some vigilante out there to shoot, shoot them fuckers. Oh, I I don't even That's care. Being accused of being. See, I don't even care about any of that. That's beyond what I'm upset about. I'm upset that there's a 17 year old out there, and he's responsible for a fucking weapon, and he kills two people. So, nah, he shouldn't have been there in the first fucking place. That's that's. Not necessarily the error of a child. It's just. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen to somebody that's new. So, no. <laughs> should have been there. See, no, I don't think he should have been there, but it goes back to those who started this whole debacle in the first place. I guess. But it's it's terrible. I'm it, not it for it. It is terrible, yeah. and I yeah. feel bad for him because yeah. he's got to live with that the rest of his life, that he took the life of two other people yeah. that were actually trying to take his life. And there's the yeah, and there's opposition to that. People are you know complaining about him doing it, and oh, yeah. what a nightmare to be in. in it the is first a nightmare, place. and right. good God, he's got to live with that. So is is the date now? Have they got the fear in the, because you live in that? I don't live in that anymore. I live in peaceful, quietly. There's nothing here. Nobody wants this. Blah blah blah. America. Everybody. Oh, it's the biggest fucking thing in the world is America. Yeah, but you know what? America is, it is so big yeah. that it is not greater than the sum of its parts. And I, oh. I know that's probably not going to make a whole hell of a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But there's lots of parts as parts that don't have that kind of nonsense going on. Mm -hmm. And if it tried to start up, it would get quelled really quickly. Mm -hmm. And it would I don't think it would have to resort to you know gun violence to quell it. I think it would just... It's already, it's already at that level. Wait a minute. It is at that that's, level in 
certain areas, right. certain pockets. What difference but it's does that? Not that way everywhere. Doesn't you're, have anything to do with it, Mary. You're basing your view oh, on Christ. three or four little spots. No. When no. basically a lot of the country is not that bad. Didn't I didn't say anything about the whole fucking country being good or bad? I'm saying it should have never. No, but you're saying America is. Is ugly right now, and yeah, the news coming out of America is ugly, but yeah, it's designed to be that way. Yeah, well, all these shootings that get this kind of attention are usually frauds. They really did, somebody did die and all this, but how and why it happened, they bury that for a long time. And this one was done right in front of us. So it's probably just the way something went. There is no answer to it. No way to justify it or not. He just—it's the event that took place. Saw it on the fucking TV. It's—it's it's a sad event. Hmm? Yes, it is. Most definitely a okay. sad event. Okay. All right. So there. See, that's my point. Is what is a seven? When I was seventeen years old, the last fucking thing I'd want to do with my fucking nighttime is march down a street fifteen miles from where I lived with a rifle. Are you out of your fucking mind. What would I want to do that for? I. I don't understand. See, I don't today. I'm 60 years old now. And I go, wow, these people are fucking nuts. Why do they want to do this? What is the catalyst that inspires that kind of behavior to come back at a, out, of, out of you to them, whoever they are? He was asked to go help watch a property. Why? He, he wasn't armed. wasn't old enough to go to a bar and get a drink. What the fuck is he See, doing that's, walking that's down a street a, with a loaded that, weapon? That, that's kind of the fucked up thing, but, you know... In hmm. a, They're going to try him as an adult. You watch. Because yeah. of the gun. Oh, yeah. Well, 14-year-olds can be tried as, adult, as an fuck. adult, depending on the crime. <sighs> See, and, and now in California, 14-year-olds can have anal or oral sex performed on them hmm. by someone within 10 years Ooh. of their age, and the person that does it to them won't be labeled as a sex offender, oh. because that's not the only fail. Well, I'm going to hang out with a better class of people than that, Mary, so don't don't worry about it. It well, I mean, it's didn't come up on my list. You are right. This bad people need bad laws. And unfortunately, there's an awful lot of bad people out there writing bad laws Mm -hmm. and then enforcing them on the rest of it. And it's like something I put on Twitter the other day, you know, and and I know I've said this multiple times before, and apparently I need to keep repeating, repeating it. You have peace officers back in the day, Barney Fines. Oh, yeah. You know, they were Where's my bullet? Age, where's my bullet? (laughs) They come up and they go, okay. Do you really need to come on? Let's. What's going on here? You know, they they were actually trying to be peacekeepers, and I know people that are of that kind of peacekeeper. I know some out here. Yeah, um, yeah. Then you have police officers who were policing the area, so they are actually looking out to see if there are some wrongdoing, some ne'er do wells in the area. They are policing the area. And now we have law enforcement officers who enforce the law, <laughs> irregardless yeah. or regardless. Whether the, I know irregardless is not a word. I yeah. still catch myself saying it. Ooh. Regardless of whether it's a, a good law or not, it is part of their job to enforce the law. And and the thing is, the mindset, and it all, to me, just comes back to the mindset. Hmm. The mindset needs to be changed. But apparently there are not enough people out there that realize that, you know, the best way to get along is, number one, to go along. And I'm not saying bending over backwards and letting them do whatever. Mm-hmm. But the best way to get along with mm-hmm. other people is to not do anything to them that you don't want done to you. That's the best way to get along with yeah. other people. That's what Cirque does. So, uh, I know, I'm on a rant. But well, I wasn't going to travel. The world is just, it's filled with bad news all the time. Yeah. And there's so much more that's going on. But they want to keep that bad news out there to keep the the frequency and the vibration of the planet down. So you always think everything's bad, everything's going to hell. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe it's not going to hell. Maybe it's just falling apart so we can rebuild and make it a little bit better next time. Well, you think? no, I think you're being optimistic and all that. The truth is the dollar crashed and they're replacing it with a freaking uh, new scheme. And they're stalling around all the bullshit and coming out with it at one time. They're setting you up for it. Yeah, so they're getting their ducks It'll in the road sit, to, yeah. to bring in another... Riots and all this shit. Well, it's just distractions so you don't pay attention to where, what's oh, well, going on with the money. Oh, Donald Trump and Biden and all this selection crap. Well, great opportunity to get shit really important done while the population's not looking. That's how you ended up with the Federal Reserve Bank. They did it yeah. at Christmas time. Well, right now it's COVID time. These people, you know, they've got a pandemic that doesn't fucking kill anyone to deal with. And as long yeah. as we play this fucking stupid nonsense, it's going to continue. There you have it. I've spoken, but you know what? The only people I can tell are on the radio. Because I'm a guest in another country where, whew, yeah, unless I want to be a complete idiot, I just do whatever they fucking whatever the rules are here. I just abide by them. And so far, the list has been pretty easy. You know, like don't kill people, don't rape anyone, don't steal anything, don't do those three things. And hey, life is kind of cool. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and lots of people see all kind of shit that, that, uh, I'll give you, I don't know, maybe, maybe it is that I'm just an optimistic person. Maybe mm-hmm. I am, I am just you are. eternally hopeful. Yeah, you are. But a couple of weeks ago, I don't know if I mentioned it on the radio or not, but I told my wife about this. I don't usually like to brag and it's not real important. It was just a nice thing for me to do because of what I'm going to tell you here. I'm walking towards two young boys. On, uh, we pass each other. We're walking on the uh, the walkway thing, right? And mm-hmm. as as the kids are just about level with me, the one kid drops something out of his pocket, and I heard it, and he didn't. I had to call him back because he dropped his money on the ground. Ah. Well, I could have been nasty old prick and let him walk off, and then go and grabbed it. But I don't think I would have felt good about doing a thing like that to a kid. So I just, hey, you dropped something. Grab that. You'll need it later. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people don't do that. There there are people out there that are just, yeah. Yeah, but I said it in English, and he smiled at me. So regardless of the understanding, the language or not, your mm-hmm. tone your tone is everything. You know, you're... Uh, your demeanor, I suppose. And then whatever it is about, the, whatever words that cha- exchange, it doesn't matter what language it's in, it's how they're given or taken. You know, your lovely bride said something on the RLM. Yes. And, and I've been saying that for years. Yes. She said, um, only in different verbiage, but she said, if the law is the lowest bar and we should rise above it, then I don't see people taking the law into their own hands as a bad as bad in itself. Which, you know, I've been saying for for quite some time. Everybody says no one is above the law. <laughs> I disagree. The law. I think everyone is above the law. I hmm. think the law is a foundation on which to build a society, okay. and the law is not something that's written on fancy paper with fancy language and all and stamps and signatures and shit the law is basically a universal law of you know certain things that are just plain just plain are no matter how you look at it they just plain are Mm. but laws are things you're supposed to build a society on so everybody is above the law up to and until they break the law. And when they break the law, that means that they're putting a crack in the foundation, they're digging a hole in it, whatever, and they are sink, sinking into the depth of depravity. So everyone is above the law until they break the law. 
why do you, why else do you think you have sayings like he sunk into the depths of depravity? That's because he broke <laughs> the law and went down into the freaking cellar and hung out with basement boy Biden or whatever. <laughs> You know, there there uh, is no ceiling of things that you can do so long as you are above the law and you are not causing harm to another. Mm. So uh, that's I think in this upside down, topsy turvy, bass backwards world, that's what they do is they throw that shit out there and then they put a little explanation to it and they get everybody going. Oh, that's right, nobody's above the law, but there's a glass ceiling. But nobody's above the law, but there's a glass ceiling. No, everybody's freaking above the law. Until they break the law and sink. Everybody is. Okay. Why do you think they say hell is down? I don't know. You know, if if you actually huh. did a little bit of reasoning yeah. with all of that, right. you would see that, yeah, that is kind of kind of bass backwards. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm so unreasonable that I live in a foreign land and don't speak their language and they don't they don't give a fuck anymore. Well, and that's that's cool for you. Yeah, they, I waited them out. You know, they just like they don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Today I went <clears throat> I went to take uh, Anna Marie some uh, tomatoes from Cirque's garden. Ha! It's cool as fuck. Oh, this woman, she, she's all about Cirque's garden. She's been enjoying the fuck out of it. Cool. Yeah. Well, it's kind of nice to give yeah. somebody something. That, it's well, I didn't know we were farmers. <laughs> Yeah, I need to go out and do some harvesting in my garden here today and tomorrow because we've got a freeze coming. Oh, yeah, and that's so right. I'm going to be losing some shit. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, mo- Monday night and Tuesday night it's supposed to get down close to freezing with mm, wind chills yeah. below freezing. So, yeah. Uh-oh. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing a lot of gardening this afternoon and tomorrow. Pulling anything Just, besides weeds. Well, salvaging what can be salvaged and and trying to cover. Although we're supposed to have, oh yeah, you can put well, a tarp so covering. Over shit ain't gonna do. No. Squat, oh yeah. Gonna blow the cover off. Cover off. Yeah. Let's so, just take yeah. it down in the corners. You could get real creative if you have you know toys to play with. I suppose. Well, and we tried that whole staking down in the corners. No good. Stuff last year. Didn't work. And and yeah, my little greenhouse thingy went mm. flying across the yard and Windsor, got totally yeah. pummeled. Those winds are damn strong. Well, I've been in uh, other places where the wind is strong. So it compares to your tail. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't think I spent any time together than driving through Kansas, maybe stopping somewhere for a day or so. But I never spent a lot of time in the state. Well, and we've basically got nothing to stop any wind between Canada and the Gulf of Mexico. It just kind of whips through however it wants to whip through. Isn't that cool? It is kind of interesting, and yet it, there's times when it's like, okay, we're tired of Nebraska's dirt, but we really don't want to have Oklahoma's dirt come back on us. So does this stop it. does this mean like, like you could be related to Dorothy? Yeah, probably. Are you ever going to yeah. go to Oz and... Go up there and confront that fucking wizard and tell him, "Hey, getting bitch slapped and shit like that." Oh no, I just I stick my head in and say, "Yo, flying monkeys, come on, we got shit." <laughs> well, that pretty much sums up our, in a reality, okay, to some of us. Mm-hmm. There's there's a handful on the Real Liberty Media chat room that would agree with the system we have is run by. Some greedy slobs that they're not idiots. They're brilliant. We're the ones that are idiots for allowing it. <laughs> okay. But. Mm, we, I don't know if I would say uh, idiot more. Okay. As much as I would say gullible. Same thing. Tricked. Easily no, deceived. Not. Whatever you call it. Forced. It doesn't matter. What the thing is, is the people that support it they support it blindly they don't really have a reason to support outside of i have to support this that is why they do it they just think they have to well yeah and part of that is because that's what they grew up with and they just mm. are not able mm. physically not able to look outside the litter box hmm. and they and they don't even realize they're in a litter box oh yeah but they sure as hell can't look outside of it 
What color is your litter box? Mine is actually biodegradable. I share mine with a fellow psychotic. <laughs> mm. And a dog and a cat. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, mine is biodegradable and it will it will biodegrade when I'm no longer using it. It will the earth will take it back and oh. turn it into something else. Are we going to get all philosophical now on the dork table? Mm, no, no, just stating facts. You know, Mother well, Nature wins. She wins every time. You may think you can control her, but yeah, don't you mess with Mother Nature. Oh, yeah. Well, it's all relative to how much time you have to fuck around and deal with it. Well, yeah. I've got a lot less time to fuck around left than my imaginary friend does. Uh-huh. You don't think? How do you know? Oh, yeah. Because sometimes I think he's a 15-year-old girl pretending to be a man. That's how it comes. <laughs> I, wouldn't uh-huh. think that of a, I wouldn't think that of a worthy adversary. I'd only think that of a weaker adversary. <laughs> It's called the pompous ass stand. It works every time. Ah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Knock them right off the stool. What? 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 I was being sarcastical what? and what? Yeah. I thought you was just being pompous ass. Yeah, because <laughs> you know what? Nobody, no, nobody gives a shit. I'm telling you. You look at the things that they're posting on the internet that are fucking happening whoa i seen a car drive through a crowd i didn't see what you know, happened after the p- certain part of it but whoa <laughs> i don't um, want to be involved in shit like that what? well and you probably didn't see what happened beforehand either right? don't care yeah. i'm driving down the street and all of a sudden there's people surrounding the car i'm in what am i going to do wait a minute that I don't know with that kind of uh, I'm not in that so I can only use my TV imagination <laughs> to decide what I will never have to do because it's never going to happen here. <laughs> hmm. yeah. I got a better chance of meeting the Queen than I do of having a problem from this uh, society here. Well, and I'm pretty much, yeah, and I'm in America, and I don't have to, for the most part, I don't have to deal with that shit. Once in a while, I have to do the damn mask thing for my mom's bed. Mm. Yeah, and it's like, I I tell her, I'm doing this under protest. I feel for you, Mary. I understand. And she looks at me and she she says, I don't want to wear the damn thing either, but I have to do this. Yeah, see, I, I'd have to compromise for the sake of my wife. If I don't compromise and somehow create a problem out of it, it's on her, not me. So, eh. fuck. Yeah. If it comes to it, I'll tell you, but fuck. Mm, they got delivery service. There's ways around this. Yeah. Because, yeah. no. Where do I... I mean, it's easy to say now because I'm not doing it, but... What if tomorrow they go, well, if you want to get groceries, you got to wear a fucking mask, Bosco. Then what do I do? Ah! <laughs> so, you know what I decided? Huh? What's that? That. What's if they that? were going to, they would have already. They're, they're lo- see, they're losing ground. The longer away you get from an action to react on a second wave kind of thing, the longer you wait, the less the less uh, it works. Yeah. They should have struck already. And if this is the best they have, their strike is you're going to wear a mask on the peak hours driving a train. Public transport, uh, buses and trains. If that's the worst that's going to come of this shit, then no, I see that's just temporary. They'll, they'll uh, figure it out for themselves. But well, the Danes are, these fuckers are lazy beyond our imagination, and they, they don't like to be told what to do. So I think the ones that are doing it are the scared ones, and the ones that are playing in costumes and making fun of it, having a good time, like Zerk. Oh, man, yesterday, 
um, I got told that I was I was the fearful one because I wouldn't wear a mask. And I went, oh, really? Please explain. I would love to know how I'm the fearful one. Well, because you're afraid that this might lead to and this might lead to. And I'm like, no. My main reason for not wearing a mask is it's all bullshit. I'm not going to wear a damn mask. I am not going to quarantine myself if I'm healthy. I am not going to wear a mask if I'm not a dirty breather that is spreading germs. I'm not going to do it. And you can't convince me with all of your trumped up science that I am a dirty breather. Mm. Can't convince me. <sighs> so take your mask and shove it. Mm. Quit projecting your fear onto me. I'm not afraid of you. You want to wear a mask? Go ahead and wear a mask. Okay. You don't want to wear a mask? I'm not afraid that you're going maskless. Mm. I would actually prefer it because then I could see how grungy your teeth are. Mm. Mm. How very nice of you to say. <laughs> I know. I know. And there, there's even dentists <clears throat> coming out now saying that this is not, excuse me, this is not a good thing for people in their dental hygiene. Well, Miss Mary, yeah. at the dork table, I hate to bother you with this here bit of tit and little nostalgia. <laughs> uh <-huh. clears throat> Me and you have been against this shit since it started, so hmm, no surprise yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Well, well it's, it's all just BS. Right, it's but... It's a control mechanism. Okay. Let's see how many of these little monkeys we can get to put the mask on. Well, like 9-11 or Kennedy or whichever big emergency or crisis you see as a global thing, right? These things mm -hmm. are, <laughs> they're done for a reason. They're, they're, they don't just happen. They're they are done. Oh, and, yeah. And the one we're experiencing right now is being done. And if you can't yeah. see that, and you can really believe the story that you're being told about virus that's because you've not done any research on what a virus is. You have no idea what you're talking about. So, too many movies put us in the position we're at now. And I'm going to make the best of, you know, trying to not insult people because I know inside I think they're being ridiculous. They shouldn't put yeah. these fucking masks on for five seconds. What the fuck is wrong with you? But I can't tell them. See, so in, in the in whatever watches over my life, like this God idea, there's got to be something because here I am in 2020 with an attitude like mine, and I'm in a place where no, there's nowhere to act out. Yeah. There's no demonstrations. There's no groups here to join. People are just out there enjoying their family life and you know having ice cream and beer getting groceries. It's very boring and dull. Oh, terrible. So and yet it's yeah. wonderful because well, nobody's nobody's going out of their way to make you do something because they're afraid. Yeah, but see I'm at the right age for this kind of place too. Where I can see the younger folks want to get out and go explore the world. Even as fucked up as it is, they still want they got plans. The EU's still the EU, I think. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's countries you can travel into and out of as a Dane. There's, I just don't, cool. you know, I don't want to go anywhere, but these kids do. And I remember when it was me still to this minute, and I would never, ever, ever tell somebody else, oh, I wouldn't go there because I had a bad <laughs> experience there. So that makes that place bad. I always thought that was kind of a stupid thing to say to somebody else. So I would... Just avoid, if I had a problem, just avoid repeating it. There you go. And always, the good times always outweigh the bad times. Yeah. Yeah, well, unless you're like some kind of psychotic or something, I suppose. I don't think you're, a, I think you're a relatively happy person. Very rarely catch you in an unpleasant mood. And even then, yeah. a minute or here or there, when, or sometimes you're busy doing something else. Well, and sometimes I come across as unpleasant when actually I'm just wanting to dish out a little bit of tough love to some people. Ooh. It's just like, come on, seriously? Really? Who do you got? What do you, kind of tough love you got? What kind of tough love do I got? Yeah. Um, 
You know, right now I can't think of any offhand because it's like I got I got a cat on my lap. It's kind of hard to do the whole tough love thing when you got a kitty cat. You know, reaching up with a paw and tapping you. Okay. On the saying, it's okay, hypo- mommy. It's okay. All right. Hypothetically speaking, what kind uh-huh. of tough love have you got? Tough love. Yeah. If you didn't uh, have a okay. pussy on your lap. <coughs> What? <laughs> I didn't know how to say that any other way. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, BLM is believe like me, not mm. Black Lives Matter. They don't give a shit about black lives. You're just an end, means to an end. Mm. There's a little deep. tough love for you. Antifa is the most fascist group of people I know of. And I don't really know anyone, but just going by what I'm seeing... You know, granted, in the controlled corporate lame-ass propaganda system and whatever else is out there on the interwebs, mm-hmm. that is the perspective that I've got. But they are the most fascist people that I have had to see hmm. on the interwebs. Uh, San Fran Nan is the biggest hype of crazy <laughs> I have seen uh, why? in a long time. Why? Because she's such a freaking hypocrite. How, the the hype of crazy is just yeah. just beyond okay. her and Joe Biden, who's the next best, next best thing since sliced bread. And what they don't tell you is that mm. a slice of bread has more functioning brain cells than he does. So you are now the fellow Trumpster. Ooh, very good. I'm not necessarily a fellow Trumpster either. I'm ah. I'm, a, I'm let let me control my own damn life. Oh, one Thank of those. Thank you very much. A I'm doing job. a fine job on my own. A yeah, crazy I'm person. I'm one of them individualist kind of people. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. <laughs> I know. No, I can you continue. I was just uh, helping. <laughs> I know you were helping. You nutcase. <laughs> but you know what? I what? don't see Trumples as the orange right. man bad. Oh, okay. Good. Right. He's the front man for a banker band. It's okay. But he's got that cool hair that gets everybody's attention. Like, uh, what the fuck is wrong with people that they they judge a man by his hair? <laughs> it's a stupid idea. I know. Maybe I it know. may be something to laugh about because it's funny to look at. But as far as a judgment call, it, it's no different than if the guy had like a a deformed arm that looked like a dick. Yeah. You know, where it might be funny if you were drinking, but, you know, to walk up to the guy. No, that would not be funny. So, hmm. But I guess it's all a matter of how you're looking at the thing at the time, right? Yeah. Because we can sit yeah. here on the radio and be as, as as objective as we like, but I think most of it's based subjectively. It's how you feel about shit, right? Yeah, well, and and how you feel about shit is based on, you know, your life experience so far. Yeah, I think so. so. Yeah. So how's your life experience? You seem to be okay with the shit that happens. That's not happy, you know. And it it happens. You go, oh, boo hoo, and then you get through it. And you go, oh, eh, the other side. Now what do we do? Let's go get into well, some mischief. <laughs> well, because you know we are in a, we do live in a world of polarity. And and I have realized in the last few years that not everything is totally bad. There is a flip side to it, you know. So even San Fran Nan or hmm. or Joe Biden or whatever politic hmm. you wish to call out there, whatever you think of them, there is always another side that you can look at and go, well, if nothing else, they've taught me what I don't want to be when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> well, if nothing else, just observing your hold my beer, watch this, just convinced me that I'm not going to try that stunt. I saw what happened to you. So, yeah. you know, everything is, I see everything as a life lesson. So, Well, you know, I've got a kind of a paradox idea that I wrote down earlier. <laughs> okay, you ready okay. for th- I hope you enjoy this one. Okay. Why does God play God? Uh, because he can, she can, mm. it can. Right, but, okay, if you understand what the word means, 
truly what the word represents, then that thing wouldn't be concerned with something that trivial. <laughs> it's got bigger problems than you. See, so hmm. So and I, yet, what? And yet, each and every one of us is little bits of God, <laughs> depending on your Ooh. mindset. I'm going to go and in the so eyeball. Each and every one of us is playing God every moment of every day. We just don't realize it. We don't realize the impact of what we're doing. Maybe we do realize, or maybe we don't. Who cares? <laughs> maybe we are not making a conscious, conscious. decision. Hmm. About what? About a lot of things. A lot of people really are not conscious of, of hmm. the effects of whatever decisions, choices, whatever that they make. Oh. You know, they they just kind of go about their day going, derp de derp de derp de derp. Oh, I'm supposed to wear a mask. Derp de derp de derp. <laughs> you know, and and not really thinking or yeah. you know making an actual. Okay, let's stop and think about this a minute. Hmm. Now, if I do this, then that could happen, or nothing could happen. So, after weighing the consequences, hmm, think I'll go ahead and try it. Ooh, that was not good. That's gonna leave a mark. Huh. But you know, it's still, yeah, whatever. I I just see entirely too many people out there that are going, well, well, hmm. yeah, I know, well. And, and the reason I recognize that is because I went through a lot of my life going, well. <laughs> and now looking back on it, I'm going, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Damn, right. it well, took me that long to figure this shit out. I must have really needed a couple of those lessons a few more times. Well, I don't see it that way. I think it's it gets your attention when you're ready for it. Because I didn't, yeah. I didn't give two flying fucks one way or the other. But I benefited off it, but didn't really get too concerned until I was probably in my fifties. Let's say eight nine yeah. years ago, I started to take this part of life serious. But only because I'm all getting older. There's no other reason yeah. to, yeah. Yeah, I kind of. Once I had grandkids, mm -hmm. I mean, be, well, before that, you know, when I got on, actually, when I when I decided to to run for city council because I thought, shit ain't right, Ooh. damn it. And and I'm gonna see if I can throw my two cents worth in there, you know, for shits and giggles, if nothing else, to throw a stick in that cog stop it for a little bit and you know once i started figuring out how things work yeah and then extrapolating out to the macro and going well no wonder things are so messed up son of a bitch well they're they're so, not messed up people just see them poorly and you can't fix what you don't know is wrong in the first place so they're, True. the things that they think are wrong are actually they're byproducts of what could be what could be repaired, and and if if it wasn't for the delivery, I think of of the electricity and the food and the water supply and the, the information that we get, we wouldn't behave the way we do. We'd be more sub like where I live, people would be more physically less combative. Oh yeah. You know. And I think the only reason people are combative is because in one way or another, they believe mm -hmm. that they are lacking something. Or or that you're uh, some kind of threat, you know. It, well, and, and the threat is because they are lacking something. Okay, They're, well, they all right. They are in a fear uh, zone. Balance here. We're, you're just, yeah, you're taking it a step further. How deep? Okay, go on. You're right. I mean, as far well, as I'm concerned, I agree with this. The fear thing. I I think a lot of people just kind of, and they don't even realize they're in that fear zone. But the belief that you are lacking something stems from fear. Fear of not having enough of whatever it is that you're fearful of. You know, or, you know. You're afraid someone's going to leave you. You're afraid you're going to be alone and abandoned. You're afraid that you're not going to fit into the crowd. You're afraid that those people over there might do something to you because they are other than you. You know, 
there's yeah. an awful huh. lot of fear out there. And, and if yeah. you just stop being afraid of everything, and yeah, I admit, mm. spiders still freak me out. Oh, know, yeah. A wasp yeah. comes doing a strafing run on my face, and yeah, yeah I get sure. that. And, you know, fear does have positive aspects to it because, mm. you know, well, you know, like with my accident, I saw her and it was like, oh, holy shit, this is not going to be good. So I instantly went into autopilot. It's like my body just went into autopilot. And fear does that. It kicks you into an autopilot. It's a self-preservation thing. Mm. But you're not supposed to live in that zone 24-7. It's only supposed to be an occasional thing. Mm. But unfortunately, too many mm. people live in that zone 24-7 because they don't know any better. Mm. They don't know any different. Because mm. that's the way they were raised. They're, those people are other. You don't want to hang out with them. They dress weird. Ooh, ooh, be fearful. Be afraid. That's why I created the dork table. Because there's, yeah. you know, there's no physical description. There's no, uh, there's no boundaries, color or ranks. or You just either you come or you don't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm like the leader of this. I just think I'm the one that started it and I got the microphone, so, yeah. <laughs> and the programming. Yeah. Well, there right. You if it was like, you know, the nerd table, I wouldn't be here talking because that's really not my strength. I have my nerd moments where I come up with answers to shit. And, oh, how'd you know that? I have no idea. Just heard it somewhere. Just stuck. Just popped into your head. And see, yeah. that's where I really, really believe that there is like an Akashic record or mm. something that people are able to just access mm. because of oh, situations yeah, it like to. that. Sure, it has to be. But I think we're so complex that we're, we're, and we're treated so badly with the food and the energy sources that we don't hit our potential in life on a, no. a, on a mental level. We're, we're being held back so we don't find out the things we could do. Yeah. We don't find out. Yeah, you don't that, realize that you're freaking amazing and your body is self-healing if you give it the right food. It would explain my ability to mimic on paper. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no way to really explain how does he do that. We don't know. But they have a you know a definition for what it is, but they don't really know how to explain how you do it because it's real complicated. You know, I was having a little chit chat with my dear friend Lisa B. the other day. Yeah. And she was asking me how I got through some of my trials and tribulations. And I said, you know, I can tell you how I got through, but I can't tell you how to get through yours. No, yeah, no because way. Because for each one of us, it's a personal Different. thing. Different, yeah. Now, maybe you can learn from some of the things that I went through or some of the things that I tried, but I can't tell you how to fix yeah, well, I just can't. Me and Cirque tried to, to work on the same drawing once, and we're so different in the styles that we do, we can't do it. It doesn't work. Now, were you doing this at the same time? Working on the same piece of art. Okay, working on the same piece of art at the same time? Depend who was in the room or not. Well, cause, sometimes you know, together, sometimes, sometimes it can be quite part. Fun, Circle and I did a little thing a while back where, you know, we started writing a story and she would write so much and mm. then I would pick up mm. and then she would pick up mm. and then I would pick up. And it really got quite fun okay. and, and was quite interesting. Right. This is a little different. This is something I've just always been able to do, but it, mm -hmm. it's not something you can teach people how to do. It's yeah. Very, but... Cirque was trained to, to do art in, in, like, mathematical equations. Yeah. Okay. I don't do that, but I can take the same drawing and, and make it in different sizes. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, little, yeah. little um, gifts that we have. Yeah. yeah. I have a brother that can do that, too, and, and what's, it's disgusting to watch him, mm. but I'm fascinated. Because mm. he can do it with both hands. Oh, at no, the same I, time. I, I'm just right hand. Yeah, he can left no, and right not, hand, and he not can. That special. He can. Yeah, and what's crazy? Mm -hmm. 
and I have no idea how the hell he does this shit. And he can't tell you how he does it either. He just does. See? There but he can write with his left hand and write with his right hand at the same time and write the same thing, but intentionally write one frontwards and the other one backwards <laughs> so that you have to hold it in a mirror to read it. <laughs> and it's just the wildest thing to watch. Okay. It's like, dude, seriously, that is so freaking messed up. It's cool. Jeez. And, but, that, and now you got family fighting over masks. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. It sounds like things are getting worse here, not better. Uh, no, no. Because now I, I really have just gotten to the point where it's like, okay, fine. Mm. You know, if that's, if that's the way you roll, then that's the way you roll. Mm. And I don't roll that way, so I'll just stay over here and roll however I roll, and you can roll however you roll over there, and, and it's all good. Wow, see this and how do they claim to live in a land that's free when they behave like that? That's the exact opposite of living free. Yeah. Yeah, when you believe that you can tell someone else that they are irresponsible and no, no, you, that's, disrespectful because uh, they don't behave the way you want them to behave. Uh, they've got a right that's to say that. That's not freedom. Uh, well, you're okay. I it's it's okay, not I get it. To think that you can do that and and that they have to comply. Oh, have that to. That takes yeah. away someone else's freedom. Mm. You know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm married, so I I don't really I don't grasp at the freedom uh, cable very often. I don't really see a reason to. You know, I got a partner. So, well, hmm. I have a partner as well, and, and I am free to do whatever I damn well please. And I'm also free hmm. to suffer whatever consequences or reap any rewards hmm. of those actions or words. Yes, and there's so. details. Okay, I swear. So, <laughs> well, yeah. that's why I, I ask you to come on the show, because you have different ways of explaining things that really are very similar to the things that... I talk about, but they sound a lot different, but they're pretty much not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, I just see it from a different angle. You're, yeah, so you're the okay. you're the optimistic, I think, persona. <laughs> yeah, all this well, smiley sunshine and rainbows and all that crap. <laughs> well, I'm not so optimistic that I don't see the bad shit. Oh, I'm not saying you're insane. I'm just saying that you're yeah. you're a happy. You're like Cirque. You're you're more you lean towards the optimist than the, like me and Graham would lean toward the pessimist. That's the way I'd say that. Okay. I, mean, I don't really see Grimm as leaning towards pessimists either. I don't see Grimm <laughs> leaning towards. Stay pessimists. away from people. They're filthy. Is not pessimistic to you. I, okay. I, I see him as as <laughs> realistic and and. Oh, just kinda, eh, you do your thing, I'll do mine. So long as you're doing your thing over there, I'll do my thing oh, over here. Oh, okay. Good. If you put a balance to this optimism, pessimism shit, like good and bad and all that crap, I was just identifying two different things. If you, One's no different than the other to me. <laughs> it's the same fucking thing. You're just doing it different. Well, see, but I do see you as more of a pessimist. Yeah. You know, because... Yeah, but... Cause, yeah. yeah. You, you're you're you, more of an Eeyore. When you start comparing and weighing and balancing shit, yeah, of course. Then it looks different because you're starting to pick on a certain part of it. Yeah. Gets well, your attention. You know, yeah, it starts. I'm well, just gonna start calling you Eeyore. The, That's just all there is to it. The wavelengths <laughs> change. See, <laughs> shit happens, and we see things in ways that confuse us. Then try to talk about that to somebody else makes it even worse. So you just get these really weird ideas in your head about how things are. Because nobody else has the same thing you got. So we're all in this alone, trying to be part of something that can't happen. <laughs> it never works. Yeah. Fuck it, stay out of big groups. They're traps. People, they just want profit. It's horrible. They don't give a fuck about you. They just want money. <laughs> they exist. Hmm. Yeah, oh, you think I'm kidding? No, I'm I'm reading the chat actually while you're talking. And Kate says that Grimm is the most positive pessimist. He knows. She most knows. 
<laughs> like what? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Okay. Most pessimists are focused on misery, but Grim is the most positive pessimist I knew. <laughs> I had to read that too, Mary. It was good. Thank you. The Q strikes again. Yes. The Q. The Q. Is always <laughs> the dispensing wisdom. The Q. 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 Yeah, I'm having. I'm having a speech impediment right now. It's okay. Pay no attention. You are imperfect, my child. You may be imperfect all you like. You don't have to be perfect. To be in this table, you can be imperfect. I am a perfect man. Or on the table. Nobody else can be me more than I can be. Around the table. (sighs) The table is in your mind anyway. Did you know that? Yeah. All of it. Really? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it is in my mind, and my mind is so powerful, and that's what people don't realize. You know, you, you you sit here and you look at this reality, and you realize that there's so much empty space between everything. <laughs> you, know, you want to look at it from the quantum level. Yeah. There's so much space, yeah. and yet you feel it as real. You experience it as real, as tangible, and that should tell you just how powerful your mind is to convince you that all that empty space is real and tangible and solid. Talk about having power. you got a strong mind if you can do that. But people don't see it that way. I do, because I'm weird. <laughs> oh, because you're very strange. Yes, I okay. am. I am very strange. So you, Don't talk to strangers, and there's not too many strangers. Yeah, in but yeah. Do you have your own cult? No, I do not. Well, then you're not weird. I ha- no. I'm telling you because I have a cult. Oh. Yep. Okay. I'm a cult now, I leader. I have a tendency to delve into the occult. No, 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 that. Come on, don't don't start adding letters to it yet. Damn it! <laughs> Hold it down to four. I'm slow. I'm just a beginner at this. <laughs> so, for the present time, relax, cult members. It's it's staying small. Okay, there you go. And they're afraid of crowds anyway. Well, yeah. Except for the dog, Hannah, and the cat, Dr. Cooper, who are the weirdest pair of cat and dog I have ever lived with in my cat and dog history. Because these two boneheads, I mean, the the dog, the cat was already uh, probably five years old, at least five when we got, so he's probably 11 now, give or take. Mm -hmm. The dog is five. And the dog's known the cat her whole fucking life. And every day it's the same growling and spitting at each other and shit. And then I go into Cirque's office earlier to say something to her. And the cat's on the one side of the couch and the dog's on the other. Yeah. Where did my wife go? Uh-oh. Because usually her energy is so high that the animals can't relax around her. One of them, they always get excited. And, mm. and here she is. She's got her little computer thing set up the way she likes it. And the animals were finally at you know at peace, at calmness. Because when I'm home alone with them, they're they're like that all the time. Because I'm calm with them. But Cirque's very high on the energy. Ah. So it was just yes. an unusual time to see the all three of them all calm at one. At. It was like me and Larry and Rob agreeing about something. Oh. How do you so, get three people to agree about anything, Mary? It's very difficult. It is. Yeah. But then when you start adding into it interspecies agreement, hmm. then it gets really dicey. Interspecies. What? Yeah, human, Are, cat, dog. Oh, well, all I think, it, yeah, uh, yeah, but that, if they're just all on calm, the calm frequency, whatever that is for the three of them, they hit it all at the same time. Usually one of them's off, and they don't, that there's no sync to it. One of them's in chaos, and the other two join the chaos. Ah. And, yeah, it was just, whoa, once in a while, a little peace of quiet. 
Well, chaos can be destructive, can be destructive and or, yeah, constructive. Exactly. So, yeah, I'm going to go. With, I like that part of it. And if you don't let it consume you, and you know, like start talking to door doorknobs and shit like that, just playing with your dog and your cat, it's not so bad. Yeah. But you got to understand, they understand something because they're life forms and they do things. They they got patterns and routines and rituals and maintenance. If they don't do this, they're gonna wish they did, like eat or poop, right? Mm-hmm. Now you know, there's a like a. I don't know what it is. I'll I'll ask the dog if she wants to eat, and she'll just lay there. She, that means no. Right? Oh. And other times yeah. I'll say, you want something to eat, and she'll go to the food. Hmm. So, yeah, there's no time clock to the dog. She's hungry when she's hungry. And I just yeah. wait until she says, hey, Lou, get me something to food. Well, and my cat... Her time clock for food, especially canned food, is now. Isn't that weird? You now. slave cat. You're a cat. <laughs> Mary, you're a cat That's why slave. meow sounds so much like now, because that's what they're telling you. Now. You're a cat slave. Now. <laughs> Do it now. But you know what? Mm. I have canned cat food that she has eaten like forever. She liked that flavor mm. until this can. And she has decided, nope, nope. Not gonna eat it. Not well, no, I I on. tried to distract my brain from the is empty space real that you brought up, and I can't do that. <laughs> I'm still stuck on that <laughs> because, well, it's all relative to the individual. I would assume mm-hmm. because if you're mm-hmm. blind, you have no vision. How do you, then your senses are different? You're still aware of shit, just receiving in something different than visual sight, but it would probably have to be similar that revealing but just on, in a different way than seeing it it would be like your hearing would be so much better blah 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 hear frequencies other people don't have yet they've been uh, chemically d- dulled and gnawed on since we were children hmm. hey we got enough plastic and sucked in enough petroleum or tobacco or pot or Whatever, gas fumes, <laughs> whatever the fuck people do in their lifetime, it's all bad for us because, you know, you're going to eventually cash out. So the idea is to try to stick around as long as you can. Well, the system that we live in is tilted and there everything that is legal and mandatory is fucking bad for you. <laughs> and all the things that are good for you that will make you feel better are either banned <laughs> Against the law, limited by law, something like that. Right? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Or they're labeled drugs. And here, yet, here there's too. only certain people that can give you drugs. Mm-hmm. You know, they have to have Be shitty nice. handwriting and, and wear white coats. So is I that empty space? I wonder if the drug pusher on the street, if he had shitty handwriting yeah. and wore a white coat, if he could get away with getting it from him. Oh, it wouldn't matter right now, according to what I read. See, there you go. It started with... In the show, telling me, well, it's not like that everywhere. It's not like anything everywhere. It's like what it is where you are. <laughs> yeah. And fortunately for us, the group, uh, the people that are a part of this are not in violent places where shit's going wrong. Larry Woods was complaining he couldn't find a place to get a haircut because they insisted he wore a mask. Said, "Fuck you, <laughs> wear a mask." I'll no, I'll fucking. Grow my hair long before I wear a mask. <laughs> so he finally, but he, but he stood his ground. Okay, Larry's an older guy. I mean, fuck, people should be nicer to older people. You know, the, somebody shouldn't have took him that fucking long to find somebody that was nice and go, okay, old man, here, sit down there. You don't got to wear a mask. I'll cut your hair. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're, we're, what's wrong with people that that's being beaten out of us or? taken away or dulled or <laughs> erased. We're being made monsters. And and it's oh, okay. Yeah. It's all right to be pissed off and angry and uh, wait a minute. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Mary, don't make me be pissed off and angry. <laughs> oh <man. laughs> I'm telling I you. I don't want to be mad. Oh well I don't. So what's what is the cure to being angry then? Hmm. 
happiness. <laughs> there you go. Apathy. No, I don't want to be. Ap- no, see, apathy. That's okay. That's a matter of uh, personal interpretation too. It's a judgment call from the other side. Mm-hmm. Eh. So there's uh, there's always more than one way to look at something. Eh. And apathy is an excuse for people to, that don't want to pursue an answer. Because if you push the, that fucker hard enough, you get a, an answer, but you don't. You go, well, they're apathetic. They don't care. Well, you don't care either. You call them apathetic. <laughs> Where are they going to go well, from there? Well, now we're going to be best funny? friends. <laughs> a lot of people say, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> and they say, I'm not going to choose. I'm, I don't care. And they don't realize they're not caring is making a choice. You know, they're they're making the choice to just sit back and let shit happen. As opposed to doing one thing or another, they're just sitting there. Uh, they made a choice. <laughs> but they think, they yeah. think that they're just riding the middle ground. No, you're not, honey. You're sitting on the fence. And it's one of them picket fences. You feel that prod? Yeah. Wow. You feel good? It's like a cross so. between a rush song and deliverance. I know it does, doesn't it? Sweet. <laughs> anyway. The problem is they're doing it to themselves. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like squeal like a pig. Ah, Are you talking to yourself in there again, little Johnny? <laughs> wow. You're, you're mean today. <laughs> Slap. Wow. There what, are times. Somebody there in the chat times. set Mary off like a bomb there. <laughs> okay. Well, that was uh, fun. I enjoyed that tremendously. You know why? Good. You hear banjos? <laughs> N- well, not really, but I saw that Joe Biden looking kid in my head. <laughs> I know. And oh my God, it, it looks like that little kid grew yeah. up and became Joe Biden. Yeah, but I got you in there. What the... happens when you grow up in the country? Yeah, but I got you with the headphones, but in my mind, I was seeing the the kid from Deliverance. <laughs> yep, uh, it's gone now. But yep. I mean, for the for the bit when it when it took place, it was weird. It was a weird yeah. moment in time. I hope I remember it for a while. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. It, I've been so dulled over the years with all the you know chemicals and shit. But fortunately for me, I was introduced to marijuana. So it, it's like counterbalanced itself. It's fought off the enemy. Kept me like some kind of sane. There you go. And still to this day, I'm the outside. I'm the guy that looks weird. But, you know, 20 years from now when, when I'm gone or whatever, they're going to go, ah, how the fuck did he know? <laughs> They'll be mm-hmm. build, build, building statues in my honor. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, that's what right. I want. I want right. a statue yeah. so that for eternity uh, I yeah. can be covered in pigeon poop. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe you should get a, a, a I don't know, smaller statue. <laughs> Something <laughs> harder to hit from the air. <laughs> yeah, give them a, or maybe have something designed that moves uh, like on a like a trolley, a circle that went around constantly. Hmm. Oh, that would be fun, because then you could mess with the pigeons. Yeah. The pigeons going, could... pilot to bombardier, pilot to bombardier. <laughs> Let her go. Oh, shit, it moved. Damn it, I missed again. How do you so, hit a moving yeah. target? Windage and elevation. I mean, and you even have a formula for this. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, when the zombie apocalypse comes, I'm going to be a fucking vegetarian. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, those I'm practicing. So, you know, and <clears throat> I what? know I what? shouldn't pick on them. I really shouldn't pick on them. But so. damn it, you know they're all saying, "You, how can you eat meat? Hmm. That was that's a dead thing, and you're eating a dead thing." Because I am you the know, carnivore. If you, <laughs> if you pick a plant hmm. and you cook it, it's dead too. Ooh. And. And how do you know that that plant isn't screaming when you start pulling its leaves off? You just aren't hearing it. So, so is food in dead? In this world what? where we consume in order to generate energy, yeah. and then we 
poop oh. in order to get rid of whatever wasn't usable for us. Mm -hmm. Everything, everything, you know, you realize everything is made up of shit. <laughs> everything. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're Another welcome. visual from Miss Mary. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, it, everything feeds off shit. Apparently. It really does. Because <laughs> plants feed off of like earthworm shit. Oh and, yeah, that's and right. Huh? Shit yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. And then you eat the plants, so it's uh -oh. so it's one time, one step removed from the shit. But yeah. you know, then they have recalls of all of these plants and stuff because they've had. Uh, salmonella or E. coli on them. You know where salmonella and E. coli come from? Shit. <laughs> well, so if people are eating the vegetables right off the vine out the garden here, what do you say? We've had nobody come and go, oh, I got sick eating your shit. No. Nope. I've seen them eating right in front of me, and they're like, their eyes freaking widen up. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, yeah. straight off the vine, it is. I was getting well, lectured today. Had. Yeah, but I was getting lectured today at the bar about it. I was oh, being yeah? told, yeah, I had some, she made a, some kind of salad with vinegar or some kind of whatever dressing, right? Uh -huh. But she says, and then after I ate that, I ate something else that that's chemically, you know, chemicals and shit. And she mm -hmm. said, I just instantly didn't want any. It was, eh, can't eat that. Because she had some good food, and it made her aware of, oh, the crap that's in this. <laughs> so Yeah. Well, there you go. That's the whole point, is most of us don't even know that exists, let alone have, have it live through it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's amazing mm. how people, you know... When they first have fresh fruits or fresh vegetables that they just picked and then took a bite out of yeah, them. Yeah. And they know that there wasn't any crap sprayed on them or anything like that. Yeah. And they go, wow. No Roundup. Good. We used special cereal that we created with our own two brain cells. Yeah. Cirque, well, Cirque did all the, all the real work to it. I, I built her some frames. Uh, screwed some wood together. Big deal. You know, in rectangles. So, I mean, that didn't even need to be measured. Or zip, 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 zip. And yeah. the rut, but she's been, well, she's been like a gardener. What do you call it? A farmer? <laughs> a farmer. Pretty much. Yeehaw. Yeah, no, nobody that's eaten any of the stuff that she's grown has complained. And, oh, yeah, the, the neighbors have, who she's traded with or whatever. You know, I made yeah. a zucchini casserole last night. Yeah. And Ooh, when Wayne come right. in, he goes, what's that smell? And I said, supper. That smells good. Mm -hmm. And then when I dished it up for him, he's like, oh, this is really good. What would you do? Well, it's zucchini and potatoes and mm -hmm. cheese and, mm -hmm. and cream of celery soup and mm -hmm. and uh, some bratwurst. And he's like, oh, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing what you can do. But I wanted to... I had one lurker zucchini that was pretty freaking big. <laughs> and I thought, no, I'm not shredding this thing and making muffins out of it. I'm just going to slice it up and, and go ahead and, and make a casserole with it. Uh, and, hey, uh, it turned out good. Ah, the food corner. Will that fit in is food dead? That's what I ask. Yeah, well, see, and I, so, there's so many people that say that, oh, eating meat is dead food dead stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? Mm. I really think the energy that you put into it when you're preparing it mm. can make it, because, you know, you can go, there's restaurants that, you know, like you go to Burger King or whatever, fast food restaurant, mm. and you eat a hamburger, and it's like mm. processed hamburger. Oh. Blah. You know, not really any flavor. Mm. But then you go to a mom and pop restaurant, ah. and you get a hamburger. Mm -hmm. And that thing tastes so much better. And I really think a lot of it is the vibration or the frequency of the person who's preparing it. Oh, you know, yeah, that could with hurt. love, that yeah. secret ingredient. Yeah. You know, someone that really enjoys what they're doing instead yeah. of, I just flip burgers for a living. Oh, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You know, I think oh. it really does affect the flavor huh. and, you know, the, the benefits that you get from it. Hmm. 
you know, whether you're a meat eater or not. So, mm. you know, and I, and I know people that refuse to harm anything. They won't harm bugs. They won't do this. But they, they eat plants. And it's uh, like, I wonder if, eat. yeah, why they can't see the insanity of, you know, there's, there's one thing about life is it's violent, right? But we, we have made it a form of entertainment. <laughs> and it's a lot of misguided ideas floating around, right? Mm-hmm. Some people think it's entertainment. Some people think it's like a doorway to, to doing horrible things. <laughs> I I think it's entertainment. I don't I don't think that because I saw a movie, I'm going to go out and shoot 50 people. That no, I'm not inspired to do that at all. So I think that if we were really geared like that, that society wouldn't make movies about the shit they make movies about. Yeah. All right, because one guy alone doesn't seem to be able to accomplish a whole fucking lot. So what do they do? They make some front man for, like, Bill Gates. You think Bill Gates is all by himself? No. <laughs> Jesus no. Jesus Christ. Do you think he's the one calling the shots on this shit? No. 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 Mm-mm. He's a puppet, too. And he's such a so. bad salesman. I don't, I don't see the... Uh, the appeal to the man as a pitchman in the first place. He's, oh, dear God. Yeah, weak. I know. And I saw a video where he was saying that people don't want to go to sporting events. People don't want to go to music concerts because they're afraid they're going to get an infection. So huh. you have no choice. You have no choice. Fuck you. It's and a story. And he's got the hands going yeah. and the, the weird Stephen Hawking kind of tilt going on. And it's like, dude, seriously, are you going to be the next Stephen Hawking? Is that what they're doing? Is they're preparing you to play that? Oh, wait, they did say he died, didn't they? Well, whatever. Maybe in the Mandela effect, another universe, he will be the next Stephen Hawking. God only knows. But he's, he's just, it's like, how can people think this guy who really has a hard time putting a sentence together that makes any kind of sense whatsoever. This is the guy that that made Microsoft. Really? No, no, no. 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 He doesn't fit the he doesn't fit the brain pattern. It's his no. delivery that's bad cuz I stutter and stammer when I speak. I'm not a great speaker. So, hmm. But I don't think I'm a complete dolt. I have my bright side. I just don't. I don't depend on it. Well, there are times when I think, you know, he could be a savant, but it would be an idiot savant. No, like no, 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 no. These these things this man has spoken of are just disgusting. He's a yes. he's a eugenicist. He wants to depopulate the earth. He thinks oh, yeah. he thinks there's too many of us, or at least this is the the. The performance he's portraying in the public eye for a group that wants us to believe that notion. And I, for one, think they're full of shit. I, and I think yeah. the sooner that, that we have either this collapses, whatever this global shit is, the sooner it collapses, the better off we'll be. It'll call the herd tremendously, but it, it is a sacrifice I will have to make. Yeah. Yeah. Or in the immortal words of Shrillery, hmm. at this point, what difference does it make? Oh, yeah. When you see, when you, when you use, the bitch is good. Can't You can't argue yeah. with her because she's always making it so you can't fight back. Uh, and then, of course, well, all that, could, all that power. Oh, come on. She's surrounded you by could guys. Fight back, but she's like a fucking brick wall. Who are you? Go- you're gonna fight these secret service guerrillas that are armed? Are you nuts? They train them in Israel. You couldn't get near Hillary, boy. And if you did her, well, and if you did her, they're gonna do you right back. Okay, number one, I would not want to get within ten kilometers of Shrillery. But she's for awesome. any reason she's whatsoever. Awesome. She's awesome. Anyway. Just as from. From what I understand from some of the emails that have been leaked, she reeks like urine and cooked cabbage. 
So, <laughs> I not want to oh, be come on. That's some rumors. <laughs> I know. Well, it was probably Uma just having a bad day. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Mary. <laughs> they had a lover's quarrel. Can it? Yeah, well, your pussy smells like urine Ooh. and cooked cabbage. Ooh. Ugh. Wow. Film at 11. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, no? Uh, no, not interested. <sighs> no, he, mm. see, even Dork Cakes. He's not acting alone. He's a front man for a group. And we're being suckered. And it taught, we're taught to believe this singular greatness bullshit. And there's no such thing. Every, every fucking body that dies... Whatever they do doesn't stop because they died. So, now nah. <laughs> It's just a way to control the people that don't. Yeah. If you want freedom, yeah. if you're seeking freedom and protecting freedom and fighting for freedom, then you're a dumbass. That's what I think. Or you're a prisoner right. in a country where you have no movement. So, two choices. And, and that seeking freedom, fighting for freedom, that reminds me of something I read a long time ago that says if you are looking for love, if you are seeking love, if you are doing whatever you can for love, if you are fighting for love, not only have you already lost it, but you never had it. <laughs> yeah. uh, it is kind of hard to define, isn't it? But... See, it's another one of those games that we play with people because we're so fucking smart. We can talk. Mm. We oh, can, yeah. We well. can sign shit and buy things. Oh, we are amazing creatures. Yes, we are. But, yes, only, good little monkeys. but only a handful of people know how electricity works. Yeah, and you know what's really cool is mm -hmm. they amaze me, these people that know how electric, electricity works, mm -hmm. and yet me, myself, I really don't give a shit less how it works mm -hmm. so long as it works. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, that's not Whoa. something that, that my brain goes to and says, wow, I want to figure out how this works. Mm -hmm. I really don't care <sighs> so long as it does. That's me being you know? pessimistic again then. Well, and, mm -hmm. and if it doesn't work, then I will figure out a workaround to where I can still do what I want to do without uh, it. Ew. You mm. know, so it's it's one of those things. Yeah. But yet I'm one of those people that I want to know how food works inside the body. And I want to know how essential oils work to benefit the body. And so that I find very fascinating. And I delve into all of that shit, but I could give two shits less about how electricity works. Mm -hmm. So it's all, it's all about personal perspectives and personal choice. Well, not only that, but it's about networking because I've got an interest in both, but I don't have yes. the desire to pursue them. But any further than having people I can refer to for answers. If I got a particular question, I go, "Hey, Mary, I want What's your input on a lotion or oil or whatever that would help me with this?" Like a headache. You said peppermint mm -hmm. oil, put some on the back of your neck, headache's gone, and it works. It, I guarantee it, because I did it. So, see? So I don't have to go yeah. researching all this stuff. I just go, hey, Mary knows a lot of this. I'll go to her. And the, the <laughs> Okay, and here's the part that where it works out for both of us, because you don't mind doing the research if you don't already know the answer. You'll look. Yeah. But it doesn't insult you to do that. Some people will be all insulted. Hey, don't be pushing me around like that. And you just go, oh, you're like Larry. You go, oh, I didn't know that. Huh? I better go check. Yeah. And see, Larry is absolutely fascinated by electricity. And, and, yeah. And I'm yeah. fascinated by it. To a point, but yeah. Larry, he delves into it, into the inner workings of it, where yeah. I go, dude, yeah. you just do that. That's pretty freaking awesome that you're, I'm going to come over here and do this shit over here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, we're, well, that's the, I guess, the nature of networking, you know? Yes. Because yes. We, we all... Or as the well, dork cake says, it takes a village, which, yeah. yeah. And Milton Friedman said that years ago, too. He said, 
Nobody can create anything all by themselves no, nowadays. No. Oh, even no, Even like no, a pencil. No. You know, because no. you got to go one place to get the lead. you got to go another place to get the wood. you got to go another place to get the stuff to make the eraser. And then the little metal band that holds the eraser on. And and so, you know, you've got multiple different things that you got got going on there. Hmm. Yeah, you could probably make your own pencil. But <clears throat> Ooh, out of so what? Much easier. Hey, out of human fingers. Ooh, yeah, that would work. So oh, that, I'm sorry. That, that was the Jew victim in me. Oh, there I, you go. Surfaces every now and again. Back to your basement, you Jew victim. <laughs> 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 what? I'm I'm sitting here trying to see, because Frumpy's talking about squirrels. Oh, it's Uh-oh. a slug. <clears throat> it's a garden slug. They, slugs. they are shitheads. They take one bat out of the tomator and remember that they don't like them. <laughs> yeah, animals, yeah. Yeah. Oh, or there's millions yeah. of them. Yeah, they reproduce like squirrels. They're frumpy. You're not talking about <laughs> bulls. You're talking about squirrels. Yeah. Oh, and my mother has a couple of squirrels, squirrels that live in the trees next door. Yeah. And those trees are always dropping little acorns Ooh. and uh, so the the squirrels pick them up and they come over to mom's yard and they dig a little hole and they drop the acorn in the hole and I keep telling mom see mom they're trying to make sure you got shade 20 years down the road nice little squirrel huh and then my brother comes over and goes damn squirrels digging holes all over the place <laughs> well hey so yeah it's funny is it I hope I don't know I I find it amusing. Well, I really do. We don't and have. You know them. the other thing. That's what mother and I did last week. I got to get this in because while we were sitting mm-hmm. there on the front porch, we were either watching squirrels burying nuts. It's all fun and game until someone buries a nut. But um, if we're not watching that, then we're watching the hummingbirds. I had never in my life seen a hummingbird until this last week at my mom's. It's so freaking cool. And there was like four of them. And so I'm trying to take pictures of these hummingbirds. And they would pose for the camera till I push the button. And then they'd go, oh, no, too late. And just <laughs> flitter off. And <laughs> my mom's sitting there laughing her ass off at me because I'm going, oh, shit. Damn it. Shit. Are you as smart <laughs> as a blur. squirrel? I know. Well, and she, I kept going, Mom, they're all blurry. I know where this I know where the hummingbird is because I see the blur. Right. But nobody else can see where the hummingbird is. And she goes, well, that's because they're flitting their little wings. And then she just laughed at me. And I'm like, mother. mother. Damn it. You know, so senility is sometimes quite amusing. But oh, yeah. Damn. Wait your turn. Don't be so happy there, sport. I know. Your turn know, is coming. Phew. It was fun. We were entertained for a whole evening just sitting there watching, either watching the squirrels or watching the hummingbirds. And I think Mom was more entertained laughing at me than anything. But yeah. Oh, that's appropriate for the door yeah. table, squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah. Squirrel. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 <sighs> oh, what oh, are we going to do? I'm reading the squirrels eating hammocks now. <laughs> hmm. Sounds... eating the ropes. I see. Dork Cake says that. Oh. Well, wildlife in all its glorious splendor. Yes. Yeah. And we are wildlife as well. Don't believe me? Go to go to Oregon. Go to Portland. Right about yeah. now. You see some wildlife. They open the doors to the zoo. I have not yet had the desire to go to Oregon. But if I ever do, I am going to go right directly to Seattle, the land of the infamous and stuff. Seattle's in Washington. (laughs) I was close. Did I say Oregon? Yeah, I did. Same general area. But, you know, I know. No, Oregon's South Washington. But, see, it's it's so unimportant at this point in time because we got bigger fish to fry. Like, who's going to be your daddy? Creepy Joe or the Donald? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh. Important things, Mary. The things I that know. matter most. Who gives a fuck if po- uh, Putin was in the White House? It wouldn't matter. Still going to operate the same way it does. 
Well, yeah, there's still going to be somebody there that thinks they know what's best for you, even though they've not met you. Sad, isn't it? And they call it mm-hmm. voting. Whoa, what a scam. What a fucking con job. But they go, well, you got any better ideas? And I go, absolutely. And then when I was done talking, they'd go, you're a communist. Well, no, you're a greedy cunt. That's all. See, see, if you could produce the things that we mentally can see, if you could actually produce one and show how easily it would work, that would be that would be how it starts. But we're limited legally, so we can't do these things. Well, it's not necessarily that we can't. No, we can't. There's legal limitations built into the fucking uh, foundations of the things we could do to change stuff. But you can't do them because they're illegal. So to produce a a product that is superior, you have to break the law. (laughs) Can't do it. Well, you you still can. It's just a matter of should. Uh, Okay, no, because if you do, the government gets wind of it. They shut you down. You you can't do this. It's not never been pulled off in the last hundred and six years. No, seven, yeah, something like that. Federal Reserve Bank controls everything, everything, everything. All the money. It's all their money. We're just borrowing it. Don't you understand the regulations that go along with being a borrower? <laughs> Come on, people. You're you're not in control of fucking anything. You're at the mercy of the fucking dollar. <laughs> That's how I see it. You see it a different way that on, on, yeah. the, on the grand scale, yeah. On the the micro scale, they don't control how many tomatoes I have on a plant. So they don't control everything, but they they control commerce. Apparently, or they're trying to, they're going to make it as difficult to be free of their system as possible, is what I'm saying. Yeah. To to live outside of their system is bad, you know. So guess what I am? Oh, I know. And I'm still, you know, I'm still holding good. I have not got one of those fucking smartphone things. Well, good. Even when good. when I was using a, a cell phone, I still didn't want all that smart shit. I figured, ah, I got a computer, I'm fine. And here I am all these years later, and I've had cell phones just, and I got worse phones as I went instead of better ones. Till now it's like, eh, I'll be back in a couple hours. <laughs> there you go. Well, can you ask for a better deal in life? I can't. Yeah, I, got, I got what I want. Ah, 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 ah. You've gone back to the old ways, I see. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. I have no idea. I'm just doing shit, man. So, just to end this dork table with something appropriately dorky. Mm-hmm. When me and Cirque were first a couple, I recall mm-hmm. either I was smoking or I was waking up, and the first thing I said was, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm imagining shit. And for whatever reason, whatever, however in order I said that was the idea of it, is this is not real, I'm imagining shit. And mm-hmm. and here we are. <laughs> you know what I still think? You're imagining shit. Yeah, this ain't real, I'm just imagining shit. And yet stop and think how powerful your imagination is to be able to yeah. come up with this complex Reality. I know. I'm like a genius with a. It's, it's like magic. Fuck you. No, I'm like ah, I was taking all the credit there, Miss Mary. I'm like a genius. I'm smart. I'm smart, Michael. I have to get passed over for my big brother. Ah. <laughs> I'm your big brother. Ah. They passed me over for you. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Well, when do you get the bullet in your head and the leg, stupid? So. Uh, you know, that was a great moral story, too. Is when you go out to murder your brother, don't fucking miss. Because it's going to end badly for you. Yeah. The end. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> I studied, studied many minutes to think of that. No, I stole it out of a movie. Ah. There you go. So what do you think, huh? going to end very, okay. very bad. Uh-oh. Is it? Wait a minute. I'm opening the wrong damn page. Let me open this page instead. 
see how you are. Can well, you we came to the end of the door table. Are you pushing buttons again? Fuck yeah. All over the place. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, we can't yeah. stop and start the vodcast and stuff, and ah. and everybody's all confused. Oh. Ah. And you know... Well, in the interim, while you're pushing buttons, uh, thanks, y'all, for listening in. <laughs> absolutely amazing for those of you in the USA. Labor Day weekend. Ooh, I will be Labor working. Day. I will be on the road at my mother's. Yippee-yay, Cal Patty. Oh. That I will be back. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'll be back. Oh, okay. Because I can. Oh, I yeah. I, tires on my van. I bailed. I bailed on Tuesday. I didn't even do a show. I just Damn. went, eh, I didn't have anything to talk about. Just had that mood. Just boom. Weird. Happens to me. Yeah. Where I got nothing to say. I went, uh, don't do radio tonight. Okay. Usually I get all kinds of ideas. I can talk for an hour on radio. It's fun. But not last Tuesday. Hmm. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> See you in the funny papers. See you. Love you. Bye. Thanks, Mary. I appreciate you helping me out with the dork table. You're welcome. It's fun. Always fun.